hey youtubers something pretty damn cool so yep something pretty damn cool right now i have another dumb 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 another hot sauce review oh yeah baby like the big ass cigar hell yeah Hell to the yeah. So anyway, in our big ass hot sauce review, like the big ass cigar, we have El Yucateco. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, El Yucateco hot sauce. Nice big ass hot sauce, like the big ass cigar. We have uh, Chili Chipotle. So this is the next El Yucateco hot sauce to review. Now I reviewed the red, the green, the black, the extra hot, and the one yesterday, which was the Caribbean. So the only one I haven't reviewed yet is the uh, green jalapeno, nice big ass jalapeno, like the big ass cigar, which I will be reviewing pretty soon. I have to get on Amazon, so on amazon.com. So anyway, this is actually kind of a unique one. This bottle is a lot bigger, a hell of a lot bigger than the average uh, El Yucateco bottle. So most El Yucateco bottles are kind of small. They're kind of small ass like the big ass cigar. But um, in not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But um, basically, uh, most of them are smaller. This is actually quite a big bottle. And it's actually kind of different. So kind of different ass like the big ass cigar. I have it in a glass right here. Anyway, uh, so, and I want to make a point of saying that I will be probably re-reviewing, re re-reviewing the El Yucatecos because my friend Merck on Discord, nice big ass Merck, like a big ass cigar, he wanted me to drink some of them straight as opposed to put them on corn chips, not porn chips, not porn chips, but corn chips. So he wanted me to drink some of them straight. So I probably, I probably will be re-reviewing, re-reviewing the uh, black, the green, the red, so, and also the extra hot at some point. So uh, I want to drink them straight because you get more of an oomph, more of a, you know, freaking oomph when you drink them straight. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, nutrition facts, 30 servings per, per container, uh, serving size, one teaspoon, zero calories, zero grams of fat, total fat, uh, 35 milligrams of sodium, uh, so very low in sodium, uh, which is a good thing because of my blood pressure, so... Uh, uh, one gram of carbohydrates, one gram of sugar, it actually has sugar in it, and one gram of added sugar. So it actually does have sugar, so uh, lower in sodium, but it does have sugar, so... Uh, zero grams of protein in terms of ingredients, water, high fructose corn syrup. So it has that high fructose corn syrup, which is not a good thing because that is very, very bad for you. Same as soda, you know, fucking soda. So not a good thing. Not trying to say anything negative about the brand, but um, yeah, high fructose corn syrup is not a good thing in general. So very bad for your body as opposed to like cane sugar. So uh, chipotle pepper, not pecker, uh, tomato, bee honey spices. So bee honey spices, interesting. So it has honey, nice big ass honey, like a big ass cigar. Uh, pH control agent, As something acid, salt, something, citric acid, onion powder, and sodium and something, something. So anyway, enough dilly-dallying. Let's see what it actually tastes like. I'm curious. This has honey, has high fructose corn syrup, and also has sugar. So I'll be very curious what this tastes like. Hmm. Interesting. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah, a little bit spicy. Interesting. Interesting ass like the big ass cigar. Yeah, interesting. I It's hard to call this even a hot sauce. I mean, it is a hot sauce, but yeah has a very interesting taste. Not like your usual hot sauce. It's mild. 
very little body to it. Well, not body, but um, like, you know, capsaicin, which is the, um, the spice. Not much on the throat. It's sweet also. I can taste the honey, definitely. The honey, nice big ass honey, like a big ass cigar. And the sugar, definitely. I can taste that high fructose corn syrup right off the bat. FYI, I don't, I don't drink regular, regular soda anymore. I haven't had a regular soda, like a Coke or Dr. Pepper, not Dr. Pecker, but um, I haven't had a Coke or a Mountain Dew or a Pepsi, like a regular soda, probably for a year and a half. So I drink like zero calorie soda occasionally, once in a while, and like diet soda occasionally, like once in a great while. I don't drink regular soda anymore. I mainly just drink seltzer water, like polar seltzer water. Yeah, this is interesting. I, I can taste that high fructose corn syrup. But... Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, it's mild. Yeah, it's mild. I'd be very curious what, how, how, how high the Scoville units are. How high the Scoville units are. Actually, let me look that up. So uh, just hang tight for a sec. Uh, I'm just going to look that up. Uh, El Yucateco Hot Sauce Scoville. I'm on Google right now. Uh, I can't show that shit because of copyright. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, okay. So uh, it's actually the second mildest. Uh, so I'm on their website right now. can't show that crap because of copyright. Uh, but apparently... Uh, the mildest variety of the El Yucateco is their jalapeno sauce at 1,500 to 1,900 Scoville units. Their Chipotle hot sauce is 1,900 to 2,300 Scoville units. Their Caribbean hot sauce, which I reviewed yesterday, is 6,300 to 7,700. Their um, red habanero hot sauce is 7,600 to 9,500 Scoville units. Their green is 7,000 to 8,800 Scoville units. Their black is 4,500 to 5,500 Scoville units. And their extra hot is 10,000 to 12,500 Scoville units. So this is actually the second weakest. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but in terms of strength and oomph and body, it's the second most mildest, the second most uh, mildest of their hot sauces. The only one that's more milder is the jalapeno, which I will be reviewing at some point. I will be reviewing that probably in a couple weeks, maybe, when I get that on Amazon.com, on Amazon.com, because I don't think my, the Walmart around me doesn't sell that, so they don't sell that crap. Anyway... Yeah, a little bit of a history lesson on L.U. Kateko. So, uh, did a little bit of a history lesson there. It's good. I like it. It's good. Is it my favorite, like, everyday L.U. Kateko? No. Is it, does it suck? No, it doesn't suck. It's not like it sucks. I would imagine this is probably intended for, like, barbecue food. Like, barbecue food, probably, like, ribs. Nice, big-ass ribs, like the big-ass cigar, or intended for like, for example, like a steak, a nice big ass steak, like a big ass cigar. Yeah, it's pretty mild overall. A little bit in the throat, a little bit of a throat burn. I can feel a little bit of a throat burn. But again, most people, most, your average Joe Schmo is not gonna drink this straight. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit spicy, but nothing overwhelming. So. I know Merck on Discord, he couldn't handle this shit uh, because I know Merck said uh, he had one of those um, hot peanuts or a couple of those hot peanuts and he got really sick. So uh, uh, Merck couldn't handle this shit. So uh, anyway, big ass, uh, big ass peppers like the big ass cigars. So uh, I have a higher tolerance than Merck. No offense to Merck. Uh, Merck doesn't have a, as high of a tolerance to uh, Scoville units and peppers and capsaicin. So uh, Again, no offense to you, Mark. You are my, my friend, nice big-ass friend, like the big-ass cigar. So, uh, yeah, this is a good hot sauce. Uh, I probably wouldn't get it again just because it's not as healthy for you. Uh, I really, really, really try to avoid... Sorry to crack my knuckles. Crack my knuckles. Uh, 
I really, really try to avoid it as best as I can, that um, high, fru high fructose corn syrup, because that's really, really, really bad for you. That shit is really bad for you. It's really, really, really bad for you. So I, would, I probably wouldn't get this again. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe I spoke too soon. <clears throat> Maybe if I... Um, unless I was making like ribs, for example, like for example, for like ribs or like burrito bowl, I might get this crap, but uh, I'm not saying it's like super mild, like super, super mild, but uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I burped him a freaking hog, a nice big ass burp, like the big ass cigar. But compared to like the, um, I, I would say overall, I like the extra hot, the El Yucateco extra hot, and also the uh, red, the, uh, the original red. I like those the most. The green wasn't bad either. The green wasn't half bad either. This is definitely, yeah, it's mild. It's not too, it's not hot enough for me. In my personal opinion, it's not it's not hot enough for me. I like things a little bit hotter, like spicy or like spicy or like spicy ass, like the big ass cigar. And also, it I don't like that that sugary taste. That sugary taste. It reminds me of like drinking like a soda, for example. So which I don't drink soda anymore. So anyway, you're not trying to like dox the brand, whatever, make fun of the brand, whatever. But not really my cup of tea. So anyway, have a nice day. Bye bye.